Good morning! Salesforce Chef here. How are you guys doing? I hope your day is going great. Let's make it even better. Stay with me. I have super important information for you. You're a Salesforce professional now. You worked very hard to get to this point. You're doing your dream job. You're working for a good company. Your colleagues are great. You're fixing problems at your company every single day. And people are saying, thank you. You're smart. You're great. Every single day coming to work is an amazing feeling. You love it. You're living the American dream. And of course, hopefully in the process, you're making a good salary. So what is next? Where do you go from here? Now that you made it to the American dream, should you just coast from here, go on an autopilot? Or can you take your life to the next level? What do you think? Have you been thinking about this? We're coming to a close of 2022. You're making plans for 2023. What are your plans? What are you thinking? I'd like to share with you four ideas on how you can double your salary, achieve $200,000 in the coming years using my ideas. You can very much do it, okay? So first, my suggestion is you buy a rental property. I'm assuming you own a house right now. If you don't own a house right now, then buy your primary residence, okay? But if you are already own a house, if you already own a primary residence, then buy a rental property. In the US, it is super easy to buy a real estate compared to Europe or Asia. Um, in Asia, in Kyrgyzstan, for example, if you want to buy a property, you have to put a lot of money down, 20% or more down. And the rental terms is you have to pay it off in around 10 years at ridiculous interest rate. In US, you can put down as little as 3.5% of the property price using FHA loans. If you buy convention, if you use conventional loans, you can put as little as 5% down. So imagine you buy a property for $500,000. You can buy a really nice property for $500,000. All you need is $17,500 and a good credit score. All right. Own a primary residence or own a rental property. You can do it, okay? And if you need help, I can refer you to some really good lenders here in Maryland. The beautiful thing about r rentals or owning primary real, real estate is that it increases in value over time. You see the crypto, crypto price go up and down, stock prices go up and down. It's unstable. There's nothing you can do about it. But with the property, with the real with real estate, the prices are always going up, except the occasion, the dip that happened in 2008, 2010. Um, real estate prices are just going up and up. They're on an upward trajectory because it's real property, okay? This crypto stuff is just fake money. It's super volatile. It's super stressful for you. But real estate is just steady, upward, upward, upward trajectory. The other beautiful thing about real estate is that every single year, you can buy a new primary residence. So let's say you live in a certain house right now. Your income grew. Next year, you can qualify for a better house, for a bigger house. Then you can change your prime residence and the prime residence you used to own, you can rent it out. And when you rent something out on a long-term basis, it becomes passive income. You have to earn passive income, all right? Working for a company, working for an employer is active income. You only eat what you kill, all right? But imagine you could be still eating without killing, without hunting, all right? That's what's passive income. That's what rental properties do for you, all right? I want you to get a rental property next year. Next thing I suggest you do is you can get consulting gigs on websites such as Upwork.com. Upwork is a, the world's biggest marketplace for contractors and there are a lot of Salesforce contracts. If you're an admin, you can do some admin training. You can do some admin work. You can earn from $30 to $50 an hour. And as you build up a reputation, you can charge up to $100 an hour. Upwork is a great place, not just to win projects, but also meet interesting people. I've met a couple of people and I've become friends with them and I love it. They're really interesting people and I, I remain in touch with them. All right. So second place where you can earn income is on Upwork. All right. So you have a nine to five job. You get your $100,000 in the evenings or weekends. You can do your Upwork job. All right. Third thing you can do. This can be controversial and this can be tricky, but it's something a lot of professionals do, which is get a second Salesforce job. The difficult thing is managing the meetings in case they happen at the same time. Uh, but there are ways around it. You can Google around it. There are even websites that tell you how you can do it, how you can manage it. Um, don't do don't get a second job as soon as you get your first job okay because you're just learning you're just learning how to do things um after you've been in a job for about one year two years then you, you can be comfortable getting a second job all right only get a second job if you're really good at the first all right otherwise then you can do good on both jobs 
All right. If you do, if you struggle already with one job, then you you'll super struggle on two, and you'll you'll be super stressed. Okay. Your life has to be a pleasure. You have to enjoy what you're doing, and you have to be good at what you're doing. Okay. Fourth thing you can do to increase your income as a Salesforce administrator is to become a Salesforce developer. Learn Apex, LWC, or both. As a Salesforce developer, you can command much higher salaries, and also your job security is much better. This year. A lot of companies are cutting tech jobs. A lot of the big companies, right? Google, Facebook, even Salesforce and Snapchat, everyone cutting jobs. From what I hear, a lot of the jobs that are being cut are non-critical jobs, such as sales, marketing, recruiters, and admins. Okay, I haven't heard of any Salesforce developers being laid off. So if you are a Salesforce developer, your salary would be better and your job security would be better. Also, you'll enjoy life much more because Salesforce developers tackle more difficult, more challenging problems than administrators. All right, if you like challenges, if you like growth, go for it. You can become a Salesforce developer. If you need help, guidance on how to become a Salesforce developer, reach out to me. We have a really good website. We have a really good training program. We have amazing instructors who will help you become an LWC developer or an Apex developer, okay? Go to our website, getforce.dev. So these are four things you can do to double your income in the coming year, in the coming two years. So first is, Buy rental properties. Second, get consulting gigs. Third, get a second job. Fourth is become a developer. All of these are proven things. All of these I know will work. Now it's up to you to put this on paper, set these goals and achieve it. If I were you, I would first buy a rental property. Second, get a second job. Third, become a Salesforce developer. Becoming a Salesforce developer is a long-term run. You need about six to 12 months of hard work training, pushing yourself every single day. Buying a rental property is about a one month project. Okay, so first get the rental property. Next, get a second job would take one to two months. Okay, applying for jobs. And third is becoming a Salesforce developer. By the end of coming year, you can achieve all these three things. All right, once you've achieved these things, or if you're on the way to achieve these three things, drop your note. I'd love to hear from you. Let's make 2023 amazing.